Um, there was a little bit of, you know, I say breaking news. I say it with a grain of salt. But before we went on the air, the Jets are apparently waving Tim Boyle, which is one of the funniest damn things that I've seen. Because you remember last week I was asking guests, I'm like, why do you think they're sticking with Tim Boyle after the Dolphins game? And uh, I guess they're not sticking with Tim Boyle because, I mean, they did last week, but now they're yeah. waving him. I think they've seen enough. And then uh, we also got to see Tua last night on the Manning cast. I want to talk about that. Tonight, you'll have a new episode of Hard Knocks to watch on HBO. So there's a lot going on. Um, the Tim Boyle experiment, you know what they you know what they really want, Crowder? I bet, I bet the Jets wish that they didn't let Mike White come mm-hmm. down to Miami because Mike White really would have been all uh, the cure of all their ailments when Aaron Rodgers went down. But that was genius, genius by Chris Greer. He saw the <laughs> way that uh, saw the way Mike White handed that ball off at the end of the game <laughs> on Sunday. Beautiful. Extra tutty for the Dolphins. <laughs> Perfect form. <laughs> yeah, no, just that was that. Uh, remember Belichick used to do it all the time. Let a guy go; he'll bring you right in, so you can't go back to the team you have to play later in the year. I think it was genius. So uh, we have a lot to talk about. We'll start with headlines, though, and our pal Alejandro Solana. Every time we've seen Mike White this year, it's resulted in a touchdown. Remember yeah, in that long Broncos pass game, to, uh, chosen Anderson. Yeah, he had the. It was like a sixty-yard touchdown pass, and then. Recently, against Washington, led that drive, and he got 8-chan, a couple of handoffs, and that led to a touchdown drive also. A little extra tutty at the end. <laughs> the sports that, update. That chosen Anderson was so funny because nobody should have been throwing the ball. That, that that because it was a long pass, <laughs> it made no sense, but God bless them all. <laughs> I'm telling you. Should have kicked the damn field goal, man. I don't want to rehash it, but should have kicked the damn field goal. It's a great goal. season. If you have one regret for me, in this magical season, they should have put up 73. They should have put up 73. Yeah. That was a that was a misstep by Mike McDaniel. You know, again, because who was it against? Denver? Yeah. So it was um, Sean Payton. I understand. Mike McDaniel wants to be classy. Listen, you're putting up 70 on him already. <laughs> it's not classy at 70 and not classy at 73. Like, it's seven, you're in the 70s. Kick the field goal. I think if Mike McDaniel could redo it, he'd kick it. 100%. Yeah. I think so, too. And, and let's not forget, it's not like they just ran the clock out. Right. They, they had to have a turnover on down. Right. In field goal range. No, no, no. If they could have just kneeled on the ball, I'm with it, you're for, done. For sure. But they had to either turn the ball back to them or kick a field goal. Uh-huh. Kick the field goal. Get the record. <laughs> classy. Stop. <laughs> Stay classy, my friends. Stay classy, the San o- Diego. The only way nine and three feels better today, the only way is you kick that field goal. You have the record. And you have the record. You have the record. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have a season of like, you know, I remember the 85 Bears season, but then, you know, you talk about like the highlights. You have Javon Holland and the 99 yard pick six, and you've got this field goal. First of all, would have given Jason Sanders. Like, what a moment in Dolphins history yeah. for a guy who's had some rough uh, rough moments. You know, it's all considering that he would have made it. It was a chip shot, but you don't know. <laughs> so That's right. Could That's have been right. a disaster for Jason Sanders yeah. as well. <laughs> um, I, I tell you guys, and I don't know what inside the NFL is leading off with today, Crowder. I, I imagine it's either Trevor Lawrence's injury, which we do have an update, or it's the Niners going into – the, the link and just rolling all over the uh, the Eagles. Yesterday, by the way, Hawk, you, you said the Niners motorboated the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, did you – you meant that? Or was that just yeah. – <laughs> <wrong word. laughs> Motorboated. Huh. 100%. Huh. Okay. It's a different phrase <laughs> in some circles. NFL primetime. It's Booger McFarlane and Chris Berman. I'm, I'm obsessed with the show. I watch it more so because it's, it's just – out of whack, you know, like right. it's two personalities. Well, Berman and... is still doing 80s highlights. Yes. yes. And I love it. I love Booger it. McFarlane isn't because he's Booger McFarlane. He's younger. Yeah. It was great when it, who was it? Tom Jackson that used to do it with uh 
with uh, Chris Berman and the, and then you know they were both '80s guys. But yeah, Berman Berman's doing what he does. He's not <laughs> he's not going. Hey, it's 2023. I got to change my game. He's still giving you the nicknames. Whoop. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> every time every time Tyreek catches a pass, he goes meet meet. <laughs> The Raiders. <laughs> the Raiders. I mean, I can't get – I watch that every Sunday night. But they led with the Miami Dolphins. And they said, eh, you know, greatest show on turf. Uh, this could be passing it. But they said, you know, at least it's Cirque du Soleil. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's up there, right? Like, it's going to be remembered as one of the great offensive teams in the history of the NFL. Well, give us a, give us a little sneak preview, Crowder. What does uh, inside the NFL come out of the box with? Niners whooping the Niners. Eagles. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge I game. Said- but then they talk about, you know, the genesis. Did you see it on um, social, the genesis of the roller coaster? Yes. Yeah, because that's going to be on Hard Knocks tonight. tonight. Yeah. yeah, so they had, the, they had them practicing it at practice, and then they show it translate to the field, which is pretty cool. All right, well, this sports update driven by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford, we know trucks. The Dolphins control their own destiny in the AFC. The Jags lost last night, and the update on, on Trevor Lawrence, it looked bad, by the way. because And he, he was gets- pissed, you know, when, when you see a player throw their helmet. Right. Like, you kind of feel like something must have torn, but I don't think anything did tear. No, so he has a high ankle sprain. And uh, according to the report, will not miss significant time. They don't know if he'll be able to return for their next game on Sunday. But it's it's not as it's not as severe as it looked yeah. on the field. Uh, he I'll tell he you how up. it was severe, though. I had just live bet the Jaguars <laughs> at minus three and a half. They were like ten point favorites, and then I'm like, okay, eh, Cincinnati, like they're hanging with them here, but. Trevor Lawrence is going to drive him down the field right now. They're going to score a touchdown. They're going to go up seven. I'm only going to give three and a half. So I live bet the Jags minus three and a half. It's almost the next play. Trevor Lawrence goes down. I go, oh, who am I stuck with? I forget who even came in. C.J. Beathard. C.J. Beathard, yeah. Who also got hurt on the very first, very first play. He fumbled, and he came up, like, holding his left hand. Yeah. And they had no more quarterbacks on the roster. Oh, that was it? That was it. So they were like, if he if he really got hurt, they just have to put a wide receiver there and run the wildcat or something. What about what about the Bengals last night trying the trickery with was it T. Higgins who, was who the, tried to throw the pass? No, it wasn't T. Higgins. It was um Boyd. Oh, was Tyler it? Boyd? Yeah, it was Boyd. Yeah. Yeah. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Like, just pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> the defensive guy in the face. Funny. Like it wasn't even getting close to where his receiver was. It was. It was like. It was like it's, something happened. <laughs> like didn't they see that in practice? Like maybe he doesn't have the arm strength. Right. <laughs> but the, the crazy part is Jake Browning yesterday looked like a damn Pro Bowler. He looked good. No. He looked really good. He finished thirty-two of thirty-seven, three hundred and fifty-four yards, a touchdown, and a rushing touchdown. The wackest QB sneak I've ever seen in my entire life. But. They, he, he played a really good game. It was weird to go to that play. Like, if things aren't working for you, fine. You pull out the trickery. This dude was balling last night, right. and they're like, eh, let's let Tyler Boyd try a pass in this game. Coaches overthink themselves a lot. Oh, I got one in my back pocket for him. No, you'd leave it there. So the Dolphins, they do control their own destiny. If they win out, doesn't matter what anybody else does. The Dolphins will have the number one seed in the AFC, home field advantage throughout the playoff, and a first-round bye in the playoffs as well. They get the Titans Monday night football. And you mentioned Tyler Boyd. Josina Anderson had reported it, that the, the Jets are signing Brett Rippian off Seattle's practice squad, and they've released Tim Boyle. So they do make uh, a bit of a, a roster change with Tim Boyle out, Brett Rippian. <laughs> it's Rippin'. Rippin. You sure there's an I there? I know how it's spelled, but it's Mark Rippin and Brett Rippin. Yeah. Huh. Right. <laughs> Brett Rippin is the Jets' savior this year. <laughs> they got him. They got him one now. <laughs> Tells you a little something about uh, Tim Boyle. <laughs> what is, isn't that Crowder? Isn't that what you said, though, when they benched Zach Wilson? Your take was this is Tim Boyle has been benched. Behind Zach Wilson all these weeks. Like, you're, you're the guy who couldn't even beat out Zach Wilson 
is the guy you're going to on Black Friday? Bro. But Nuggets. then they stuck with them. That was the part. Like, because then, okay, we saw him. There was no magic there. And then they stuck with him. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like John Beck down here. <laughs> it was so crazy. We all knew he couldn't play. They put him right back in that game, though. Uh, the Miami Heat tomorrow. The, Ra- the Raptors mentioned Bam will be out. I also saw Haywood Highsmith also out tomorrow. So the Heat down three starters when you include Tyler Hero. Then they're back at home on Friday to host the Cavs. The Panthers do host the Dallas Stars tomorrow, 7 p.m. You mentioned that you and uh, Crowder will be live tomorrow from the Emirate Bank Arena. Indeed. And Kane's Hoops in action. They host LIU tomorrow, 7 p.m. I haven't even looked up LIU, but I believe it's Long Island University. That would be do my guess. I have guess. that right? That would yeah. be my guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, two inter-Miami notes. So Lionel Messi was named Time Magazine's 2023 Athlete of the Year. How about that? That, that's who SI should have gone with, too, by the way. You guys, I know you guys loved what SI did, but the real athlete of the year in the United States was Lionel Messi. He brought some relevance to MLS now. Some? Yep. <laughs> some? <laughs> and uh, I know I had told you guys several times we talked about Luis Suarez, and uh, I, I kind of jammed it down your throats, all the Suarez stats, but the reports are, are starting to uh, ramp up. I saw Michelle Kaufman allude to a report, and uh, The Athletic just sent out a push notification that the deal is not yet finalized, oh but my it's God. in I the mean, works. Is this Bradley Beal? Because you've been reporting Suarez to Inter-Miami. I thought this was a done deal. You've given us this story 600 times like we were getting Otani for the Marlins. <laughs> You're telling me we're still waiting? Huh? Great things. Take time. But we didn't have this much lead up to Messi himself. Like, we, are you what? kidding me? So you're telling me Luis Suarez is not part of Inter Miami? Not yet, officially. Jimmy, can you go through the all the audio logs and find all the times that Solana over the last six months has reported Luis Suarez? There was a time where you gave us his whole history. Oh, yes. Pistolero. That was for what? <laughs> but it was for nothing? It was the first official report that he would end up oh, joining Inter Miami. Get this guy out of here. I don't oh, even want him on the stop. team. I mean, you <laughs> ruined it. You're, you're ridiculous. Completely ruined it. You're going to team up Messi and Suarez but with what Alban have we been Busquets? doing? So we've been reporting he's coming to Inter Miami and it's never been true? It's being finalized. It's being finalized. Well, huh? what has it been being done when you've been talking about it for the last six months? He couldn't sign with Inter Miami because he's still under contract with Gremio. He had his final game with Gremio in Brazil, and he gave his farewell to the fans. The entire fan base celebrated him after the game. Here we go again with more Luis Suarez notes. We'll be able to celebrate it officially in the coming days. <laughs> no one's celebrating it. It's over. Rip more about him than D. Wade. <laughs> Uh, hard knocks tonight, and last night Tua did pull out the guitar. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about that today. Really cool. Right. Uh, you want your in-season tournament quarterfinal ske- uh, rec- or scores and schedule? I'm so uninterested in this in-season tournament that I can't even begin to tell you. Like, I mean so uninterested. Well, the Pacers <laughs> beat the Celtics. I mean, these are essentially just Monday night NBA scores. No, they're not. I mean, it's but, but they tournament. are. It's yeah, but it, I mean, it doesn't like like. Let me give you your Monday night NBA scores. Nope, that's nope. what this is. Cup NBA game, season. hot cup game. Ridiculous. And the Pelicans <laughs> beat the Kings one twenty seven to one seventeen yesterday. Your boy Zion, ten points, six assists, six rebounds in twenty eight minutes. Oh, yeah, none of those teams. <laughs> none of those teams you named making the playoffs in real life. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's our Monday night scores. We got the Monday night NBA scoreboard. <laughs> Tonight, Bucks play the Knicks, your Tuesday night scoreboard. <laughs> and the Lakers play the Suns at 10. 7 30. Bucks hosting the Knicks. 10 p.m. Lakers hosting the Suns. Your weather from the Demesman and Dover Law Firm. Call them 866-954-MORE. Your accident attorneys.com. Partly cloudy today in South Florida. It's in the mid-80s right now. That is your weather. Somebody uh, with a 116 as their final three numbers on their phone has texted in a million times. Who have the Dolphins beat? Please tell me. These are all, all caps. Please tell me. And then it's please. Can you just answer the question? 
go on Google, search Miami Dolphins. You'll see the entire schedule. You could look at which were wins and which were losses. What do you mean? You want me to list the the, the schedule for you? I know what he's trying to do. Uh, Just go look at the schedule. You'll see exactly who they beat and exactly who they lost to. I mean, what, what do you want? I think you, you don't have internet. You're texting me. I get a better plan on your phone. And sir, the schedule with you. The teams the Dolphins have to beat are the same teams the other good teams are beating. They're NFL teams. I, I hate Doesn't this argument. Matter. They're nine and three. What do you what do you what, what do you want to do? You want to know who they beat? Pay more attention to the team. I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you. I can tell you last night's NBA scores if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have uh, you got anything else, Ripian? You want to talk more Suarez? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I cannot believe he's still not on the team after the number of times we've talked about him on this show. It's being finalized. It's in the work talk. It's in the works. He's being well, finalized. Well, then what was it being done three months ago? It if was it's just, being finalized now. What was happening three months ago? It was reported a month ago when we really talked about it. I gave you the report, my own reporting from three months ago, that this was going to happen a month ago, when I brought it up and I gave you a stats, I was just telling you that it was officially reported that Suarez was going to be in talks with oh, Inter Miami goodness. at the end of his season in Brazil, which ended just a couple days ago. And now they can officially work on a contract. That's what's happening right now. It's being so we finalized. still are yet to the point where we report that Luis Suarez is joining Inter Miami. That'll be another report. That'll be another report. All right. And I'll break it down in further detail when that is good. Talk. God, man, you ruined this signing for me. I was supposed to be excited about it. You ruined it. 